Oh no, Dorian. Oh my god. Oh my god. This episode is so sick. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this dude is crazy. This dude is crazy. <laughs> Legit. It's your boy Roberto, but you can call me Betty, and welcome to another Mob Psycho reaction. Today we got episode 4 titled Inside Evil Spirit. I actually kind of don't really remember much from what happened on the last reaction, I think. We went to a new place, we fought, we fought against this woman who came out of, of, of a lake based on like some folklore from the town and stuff. I think that was kind of what happened previously. Basically, I'm hyped to see Dimples and the boys as well, so we're about to get into episode 4. If you are a returning subscriber, make sure to hit that like button. New viewers, join the Betty Gang, hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, for those who show a lot of love, thank you as always. This of course is your boy Betty, and yeah, let's get into Mob Psycho. Reagan still has one of the best, like, character anime OSTs, like, character themes. To be honest, let me just say this, Mob Psycho has one of the best anime OSTs in general. I actually think, like, if, like, again, I, I laughed to this multiple times when I say it again, I am going to do that anime OST tier list. Of all of the different animes we've reacted to, and like Gary, I'm telling you right now, Mob Psycho is gonna be up there in like top five. We'll find that out. Like top five. Bleach is like likely to be number one because I love the Bleach MSTs. Shit like Naruto, like uh, Naruto to Naruto Shippuden also has some really great ones as well, which is probably gonna be like top five. But yeah, like yeah, like just just know that's coming. That's coming. We'll probably do it on Twitch and make it a bit fun and get everyone involved. We'll go on YouTube. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming. Oh, it's that Shinra guy. Wow, Mob remembered his full name. That's crazy. Shinra kun. Shinra is one of the dopest names, I think. So, this is the man. The one who's been lying about getting rid of the dragon. Oh, really? Oh, he's using that for his fame. <laughs> oh, the claw members are there. Running a legit business. <laughs> oh, I guess they did change after Reagan gave him took no jutsu. Asagari holding CEO. Save my daughter, okay. So this guy is hired psychics. Fourteen years old, is she possessed? Yeah, season three is gonna be dope, man. It's so, so dope, if I bet. Especially because it'll be like, I'm guessing new animators, better quality animation in general, you know, yeah. So what, is she in like a vegetative state? Because of this evil spirit? <laughs> yeah man, like, Reagan rips him off so badly, considering he's the one that actually takes care of the spirits. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> hey, some of their costumes, man. I ain't gonna call it out because you know I'd get cancelled, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Someone was wearing something interesting. Wait, Saitama? Did you guys see that? Does that guy here not look like Saitama? This guy here to, to the right. Is this not Saitama from One Punch Man? Oh my god, that could easily be Saitama. The bald head. The eyes, the shape of the... Like, come on. Literally, that's so crazy, isn't it? That's Saitama. 
I mean, dope. Don't get me wrong. That's dope. But I, kn- I know, obviously, this was done before uh, One Punch Man, right? So maybe this is like a way of putting in an Easter egg, right? Damn, CEO. Yo! Oh my god, this is a who's possessed mystery. Oh, I'm so into that. That's dope. Ooh, I like that. This is gonna be like detective work, but I'm sure they can just use their psychic powers to work out, anyways, right? Oh, it's, oh, it's clearly the daughter. It's clearly the daughter. Perfectly normal, no. Oh yeah, let's ask Nob. Yeah. He knows because Reagan is a master swindler. Wow, there you go. And she was still hearing, hence why she attacked. And she seems powerful. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, is it about to get heat? <laughs> oh. Oh, we're about to get into some heat. Yeah. Okay, let me get myself ready. All right. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, they're all trying to exercise the demon. <laughs> that was what I meant, but you know, I'm, if you know, you know. This person gives me a Shigaraki vibes from My Hero Academia. Yeah. A <laughs> Chihuahua. Really? He's saying not knowing how strong Mob is. Reagan is so good though, I do love his character. He started off being a little bit annoying to me, but I grew to love him so quickly when it came to these last three episodes when he turned up and I mistaked him for like the the leader of the organization. It was just so hilarious. Okay, so this guy was a psycho basically before he passed away. Oh, so that was a flashback before. Wow, dimples, man. <laughs> and that never works. I've come to absorb you. Whoa, people can do that? Wow, this dude is crazy. Oh, wow, very interesting. That's Mogami himself, the star psychic of the 20th century. So Mogami's spirit is possessing her? Ooh. Okay, this is going to be an insane little matchup then. So wait, you didn't even need to be chained. Well, yeah, why did you need daddy to open the cuffs? You were fine. <laughs> Ooh, this might be turning up, you know. 
Yeah, very, very good. I'm just glad it's Friday. Glad the weekend's here. I'm so glad the weekend's here, actually. So, so glad. Oh! <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even this, even the sub went Portuguese. <laughs> oh, he possessed someone else. Wow, even Mob is like, yo, <laughs> whoa, that worked. <laughs> I can't believe that work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, why are you? Hey, Reagan, yeah, chill. Wow, Mob really is no match for this guy. Oh no, the dad is gonna get marked. <gasps> no! Oi, we're catching bodies in episode 4? What? Oh, snap! Oh, <laughs> Yeah, basically this little girl just got possessed by a, a spirit of a psychic. Ooh, mom might go 100%. <laughs> okay, I'm liking, I'm liking this episode already. Psychics versus psychics. Ooh, animations turned up. Okay, okay. Oh, not the eyes. That's Mob right there. That's Shigeo. Oh no, Dorian. Oh my God. Oh my god. This episode's so sick. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, Mob's about to go 100%. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, we yes we are. Wow. Cause I'm guessing he just absorbed loads of evil spirits, that's why it's like that. Damn! Oh yeah, I feel for this girl and her dad, you know, man. My dude was just trying to run a company, you know me. <laughs> oh, snap. Dude, this anime is too much. <laughs> Oh no, don't do that. I want to see an all that battle. Don't try and connect with her soul and stuff. <laughs> well, we don't need to do that. Go on, just, just have a full out battle. I mean, you could just fight her. Ah, Dimple's using Shigeo's power. Actually, actually, actually. I know, actually. Uh, this is episode 4 of season 2 right now. Ooh, Dimples controlling Shigeo could be Doro. He has changed, I was gonna say that. Because he's been acting a lot more confident and ready for the smoke and I love it. Like, Oh my god, that's his spirit? That's him Ashville projecting? Oh, he's gonna try and possess Shigeo. Oh no, Reagan. Oh. He was smart to protect his head like that. Oh no. Dimples. 
<laughs> Let's go, my boy. Wait, this anime episode is so dope. Oh, okay, you know what? I, do you know what I think this also is? You can't swipe only four, and this is much too much craziness. <laughs> Trust me. And also, what I was just about to say is like, I feel like the re like the way that you know she gets kind of become fluid with like dimples in him is all also a combination of the body improvement club. I, I say this every single time I react to this, but like one of my the favorite things about like this anime for me is the fact that the main character. He's like a scrawny little kid with like some really powerful psychic abilities. But the main thing he wants to do is improve on himself to, to get, you know, to, to like get the girl. And he's like, okay, I'm not doing it for the girl. I'm doing it for myself. You know what I mean? The Body Improvement Club, I love it. Like, honestly, it's my favorite thing of this anime. I love the fact that like, you always see him working out, doing his marathons, trying to lift weights. Like, I love it. Like, honestly, it gets me so good. Let me, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Okay. Right now, the main character is being possessed by his friendly neighborhood spirit friend called Dimples. <laughs> As you can tell, he's got dimples. <laughs> Sorry. And he's fighting against this little girl who's possessed by a really powerful psychic. While the real mob is turning himself into a spirit form, invading the the little girl's body basically to try and fight her from within. So, so now they're fighting in this mindscape. Ooh, and mob is serious. Wow. Oh. So Mob is, it looks like he's more powerful than this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yes, he's definitely more powerful than this guy, yeah. Uh, oh man, yeah. One Punch Man is definitely dope. So that's a good anime to start off your anime journey with. Because there isn't that many episodes. It's like two seasons. But same with Mob. Two seasons. Twelve episodes per... Damn. Really? Why? Oh, so he is actually stronger than Mo. Damn. Getting stepped on. That's the biggest level of disrespect anyone could do to someone. Yo. Imagine if this breaks him mentally and he's just like... Yeah, he's 100% gonna go 100 in this, like, at this rate. But what would happen if he went 100% in the mind of the little girl? Like, I, I feel like the little girl is basically already dead anyways. Come on, Mob is never gonna join you. <laughs> what? Mmm, that doesn't make sense. Ah, okay. Oh, so he's like locked him in like a dream reality. Oh my god. He's put him into the matrix. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Next episode is obviously going to be fire. So we'll make this a double reaction for sure. Uh, we were planning on doing that anyway, so well, you know. But like, I loved episode four. Definitely a lot of hype action scenes. So let's get into episode five, titled "Discord and Choices." Hey, and the facts. People always regret it, man. We've seen it with Turtle. We've seen it with the Claw guys. Like, it's definitely gonna happen here as well. Oh, I didn't actually know that. I didn't know that, Kraken. That's very, very interesting. So it's play on the word boring, because he is boring. The guy is stale. He has nothing to him in terms of personality. But I imagine if he was, you know, friends with him, he wouldn't actually be boring because he's such a 
odd character, I imagine you'd have a lot of fun just be, being around him, you know what I mean? Sometimes the most boring tend to be a lot of fun, just from how, I don't know, how bland they are, like how unseasoned, <laughs> how sourceless they are, you know? So, so yeah, that's that's more. <laughs> but that's, that's an interesting fact there. That sounded wrong. Pause, pause. Just because to cover myself at least. <laughs> Without your powers, wow, interesting. It's not going to be any different for him because he doesn't rely on his powers anyways to go about his everyday life. This is kind of his life normally anyways, right? Oh man, we're just gonna... Oh! Now we're flashing back to like him bumping into those kids and his brother... His brother would have helped him obviously, which he did the first time around. But this time he just walks away. Okay, this would affect him. Yeah, he clocked onto it. Damn, this psychic is strong, man, to be able to even do this and look into his memories. He's a telepath, obviously, but also has, like, telekinetic ability. So, like, the scale of what he can do is pretty, 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 pretty well, pretty, a lot stronger than what Mob can obviously do. But a lot more powerful than anything else we've seen on the show. That's tragic, man. That's so sad. Right, okay. Yeah. Oof. I mean, he's at least stopped for a bit. I thought he was still going to be fighting Dimples, but I guess he's focusing all his attention on more at the moment. I can't believe that you can actually just absorb the power of spirits. That's insane. I like the concept, though. It's kind of dope. <laughs> it really is kind of dope. <laughs> Yeah, like, mob, mob now, the way he's getting treated mentally is so sad. That's tragic too, that's pretty sad. Whoa. Wow. Wow, so because of him. Oh, so he... He deleted himself and became a spirit. Wow! This dude is crazy! This dude is crazy! <laughs> Legit! My god, I mean I get it, you had a real sad upbringing and yeah, you, you was partly to blame because of your mum, but... I mean, you was partly to blame for your mother's death, but like still, dude, like... Come on. So is this the real essence of the girl's soul within her mind? That's being manipulated by this evil... De oh, damn. Oh, she gay, man. All these psychics is... Yeah, Mob is so, so pure. And uh, what I find funny, though, is like all these psychics were talking all that talk and they just got what? Like, every single one of them. It's so funny. <laughs> All of them, all of them work. 
<laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> It's still got plenty of uses. That's literally the only reason you're thinking about it. Manipulate from. Are you even going to be able to do that? I know you've got a little stronger, but. It's so cold still. I'm hoping you guys are keeping warm. I'm hearing that it's about to snow everywhere. So. I'm guessing it probably won't be snowing in Japan right now though, right? But uh, I imagine maybe in the US it probably is, and it apparently it's going to snow tomorrow in the UK. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Spiking? Why? Why did this power increase? Oh... Interesting... Oh no... Mob is snapping! Damn Mob! Damn! Everyone's just got a bit twisted this episode, man. Nah, relax, relax, my dude. Oh my lord. Oh, okay, that's lucky. <laughs> the first came out of the noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. God, that nearly killed me. I'm sorry, man. Coffin. So funny the way Dimples came out made him look like a booger because he's green. It was just like. <laughs> that was done on purpose. Oh. Oh, mob. <laughs> it's bleeding. There we go. Dimples actually came in clutch. Alright, so we're about to see Mob turn up now. The music is basically indicating that to me. And also, yeah, they wouldn't make Mob look like, like the way they have without giving him a little moment of redemption in the set, so. It facts, nah, no, I get it, I get it though. Ooh, there we go. See, Dimples knows, man. He's been around mob well, like long enough to to know what to say. <laughs> That's funny. I'm your fault though. <laughs> oh wow, Mob made a joke. Here we go. Ooh, I'm getting so hyped now. Oh, he's come out of his true form again. I'm really digging the OST, actually. Facts, tell him she go. Facts. <laughs> That's true. 
a light lane. 99%. Okay, we still got a halfway to go. We still got halfway to go. Okay, it's about to start. Spiritual mutation. <laughs> wow. They look so weird. They look like slime. Whoa, a giant one. They give me Majin Buu vibes, like the way that they're like forming together and stuff. Oh wow. That's pretty freaky though, I ain't gonna lie to you. He doesn't really get annoyed that easily though, like I feel like in comparison to your normal average human being, Mob actually can take quite a lot. Oh yeah? Oh I think it's really growing empathy for spirits. That's the girl. That's that's who you came in to save. Yeah. Oh no, nah, man. Yeah, you could be a hero. Oh man, he's grown. This is what I mean by character development. Mob Psycho has that. It has the plot and the character development. Come on. And the action, obviously. When he transforms like that and goes 100%, he always like looks like he's going in, like Super Saiyan, basically. Just without the hair change, but his hair starts flicking up and like flowing, like almost like floating. <laughs> Fuck! Look at dimples! No, no, let, let your cheerleader rock! Wow! Who are you? <laughs> Ooh. I love the power, the look of the, like the of his power as well. It's purple versus like a red, kind of representing like evil and then, I don't know what, what would you call purple. Just like, when I think of purple, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like childlike. Whoa. No, they did the great. Really? Hmm. All the evil spirits that are taken in and controlled will be freed at once. Interesting. He looks so different, it's so crazy. Like, he looks like a completely different person. Oh, love. Yeah, I mean, I guess, actually, yeah. Yeah, like love and hate. <laughs> I love the like art style for this though. I really do. It looks like it. Oof. I hope he did get away dimples. I mean, he always manages to get away somehow, so I think he'll be fine. God, this episode, like the way it's been animated, is so beautiful. I actually really, really like it. And the way, like, the, like, I don't know, it's, like, upside down, like, you've got buildings, there's a sky and stuff as well, it kind of resembles the Doctor Strange movie and how, like, when they tapped into Goro, the, you know, Dormammu, they were able to shift, like, reality in that way. 
Whoa. This battle is on also another scale in comparison to everything else we've seen. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, she gave her a hundred percent. Isn't exactly like clowning on this dude. My my guy is actually putting in work. Oh that's so creepy. Come on, that is beautiful. Like that is beautifully drawn. Whoa. That looks so dope. Wow, we still getting hit. No way. And they're all fighting inside her mind still. Imagine if she was like able to remember all of this. <gasps> no. We've seen him do this once as well, right? Yo. His vessel was shattered? Wait. My pet? We can't let him take that. No, he's too powerful. That's not gonna be good. Oh my god, this girl. Yeah, she still remembers him. She probably remembers everything. What happened to your fingers? Are they good now? After they got twisted up from last episode? Also, your dad's dead. <laughs> oh, she's finding out now. Oh, no, she isn't. She's just apologizing. Damn, look at the animation. Like, honestly, this episode hit, man. It was really, really good. Oh, he's okay. He's alive. I thought he died. I kind of part of me would have. Nah, I shouldn't say it. No, I will. I part of me would have preferred he stayed dead. I guess. But I guess it's good that he, you know, he's alive still. I, I'm guessing with this show, they they probably don't kill characters off, which is fine. I just think it would have been a bit more like, oh my god, what? But like, I'm not saying I'm looking for it. You don't need that to make it good. You know, it was still quite impactful and shocking, regardless. I mean, she stabbed out. She's, but that, I'm surprised he is alive though, because she stabbed him, and then looked like he she ripped out his his insides, literally, like literally looked like he did that, which is pretty insane. McDonald's, you know. <laughs> yeah, literally. I mean, that's some good advice, I guess. <laughs> so cute, his little McDonald's, <laughs> little McDonald's shake or whatever. <laughs> okay, so that was episode five. Episodes 4 and 5 are absolutely fire. It's surprisingly hype. I was not expecting there to be some action to the level that we got with the, the last two episodes. I think we will end them here and not watch another one. I know I normally am like, oh my god, I want to watch one more. But actually, it gave us a quite a nice conclusion to the overall 
story arc that they were sort of putting together um, around this little girl and obviously this evil spirit. But uh, I wonder if that guy who could control spirits is going to come back into the story in any way. Obviously now having captured a really powerful spirit in An Anzari, Anzangari, I don't know how you say that guy's name. The evil powerful red beast that we saw basically flying Shigeo, right? Um, but really, really, really dope. Let, let's get to the review portion and uh, yeah, let's dissect. So that was uh, Mob Psycho episodes 4 and 5. Like I said, very, very hype, unexpectedly, surprisingly dope. Definitely, the fight scenes hit, right? The fight scenes hit. And uh, I was surprised that, like, like, yeah, I just weren't expecting this. Like, even Dimples, the moment where he took over Mob and, like, started utilizing his body in fire. Like, it was super fire, really, really dope. I 100% loved seeing it. And, uh, and yeah, like, this, this series just doesn't miss. Like, it literally does not miss. But of course, let me know what you guys thought and definitely drop those thoughts down in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. But if you're a new viewer, hit the subscribe button and join our family, the Betty Gang, also familiar because we've got you here at this point. And most importantly, for those who've been showing a lot of love, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch, thank you as always. This, of course, is your boy Betty, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. やっぱり気づかれてたみたいな。わけの鍵をもらえるな。この一緒にね。ほう。もう取らせられてた。いやいや。さあ、でウェイ、スムスクラップス。ナウアンランエマイオンカンパニー。エブリデイイズサンデー